Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at Max Pool, and this is the general version where you can have an input tensor either of 1D, 2D, or 3D shapes. And for example, here we have used a 2D shape of input tensor where we have uh, the input, which is this, and then the uh, the dimensions would be batch size. Uh, then the input spatial shape here we would have the height and width in 2d case then we have the number of channels and if we look at the size of this one it is 1 by 4 by 4 by 1 for this particular tensor next we can set the kernel size and this would be of the similar um, sort of dimensions as what we have the input and so that that's what we have written here so size of window for each dimension of the input tensor so we have one for batch two by two for height by width and one for the channel and then strides everything we have set to one if we look at the docs this is the uh, these are the input arguments that we need to give and accordingly here we have set the input to input that we created above K size is equal to kernel size, which is this one. Then strides is equal to strides, which is this. And then we here we have set the value of padding as valid. Now, when we run this, we get the output uh, tensor, uh, which is of shape 1 by 3 by 3 by 1. And the way this works is in in this particular case what we are trying to do is we are trying to get the maximum value uh, from uh, using the filter that we have or the kernel that we have so for example uh, from this particular set one two five and six so the maximum value is six and so we have this six right here likewise we move one value on the right then we have two, three, six, seven, and among this seven is the highest value. So we take a seven max value and so on. In the last case, we have 11, 12, 15, and 16. So 16 is the max value and that's what we have here. So this is how we can implement max pool in TensorFlow. And usually we would use this to um, extract the uh, prominent features so let's say if we are trying a convolution layer and then after convolving we can use a max pool to uh, get only the features that are uh, most prominent or most informative so that was it for this video i hope in this video you got some intuition about how to use our tensorflow uh, max pool method so tf.nn.max underscore pool i hope to see you all in the next video thank you